A Georgia judge is refusing to dismiss misconduct charges against the former district attorney accused of hindering the investigation into the 2020 shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery. Former Brunswick DA Jackie Johnson is accused of trying to keep her former investigator Greg McMichael from being arrested along with his son and another man in connection with the killing of the 23-year-old Brunswick jogger. Tarek is joining us. He spoke with an attorney not connected with the case about the judge's ruling and why these proceedings have moved at a snail's pace, Tark? Well, you know, prosecutors allege that Johnson was in repeated contact with Gregory McMichael as well as the Waycross District Attorney and other law enforcement officials after Arbery's murder. Her lawyers filed motions to have the case dismissed, saying the prosecution doesn't have any evidence against her. But according to court documents, state prosecutors do have evidence for the jury to consider. It was February 23rd, 2020, when Ahmaud Arbery was shot at close range with a shotgun after being pursued by Travis McMichael and his father, former district attorney investigator Gregory McMichael, and neighbor William Bryan. The trio wasn't taken into custody until this video was released to the media nearly three months after the shooting. According to court records, Gregory McMichael made 16 phone calls to his former boss, Jackie Johnson, who was the district attorney at the time, leading up to the release of the video. A judge refused to dismiss the misconduct charges against Johnson on Tuesday, writing in this motion that he heard and considered the evidence and arguments presented. News for Jack spoke with attorney Belkis Plata, who's not associated with this case, who explains why the phone calls made to Johnson could be problematic. I think the frequency of the calls and the length of the call shortly thereafter, you know, after this incident, are what um, is going to allow the prosecution to make the argument. You know, she was in constant communication with them. She's trying to cover this up. While Johnson's case has moved at a snail's pace, Arbery's killers have been convicted and sentenced in state and federal courts. The McMichaels each receiving a second life term sentence on federal hate crimes, while the man who shot the video, William Bryan, got an additional 35 years in prison. Plata says Johnson's case may be moving along slowly because of her high authority capacity in the criminal justice system in Georgia. And so it presents its own share of problems in trying to find a completely impartial judiciary. And so over her tenure, she's met with a multitude of attorneys, judges, police officers. News for Jax asked Plata if intentionally trying to delay the case is a sound legal strategy for the high profile lawyers who are representing Johnson. I don't really think there's a benefit in delaying. Um, you know, you want things when things are fresh in people's minds. If you have a defense theory, you want to be able to present that. And the longer you extend it, the more difficult that may be. In this case, it might be the contrary, that they're hoping that the dust settles in this case. And I think Amart Arbery is, is a fixture in everyone's minds. Everyone watched that video. And so people want justice to be served. Now, lawyers say without that video, it's likely no one would have been held accountable for what happened to Ahmaud Arbery, and his story never would have been told. Johnson has pleaded not guilty and denies any wrongdoing in her case. Her arraignment date still has not yet been set. Joy?